The squad is ready. Everybody is eager to take the field, and the only reason that Luke Croy is in the lineup is because apparently after this last patch, all the blocking for catchers is apparently fixed. So, I mean, I'm just going to have to wait and see if that's true. That's just what I heard. I haven't really tested that out yet. I haven't really just played a game where I was just throwing a bunch of shit in the dirt. But if Luke Croy is out there making a mockery behind the plate yet again, he will never see the light of day. Never. So this is the last chance for Luke Croy. If he just starts missing everything again, he will be on the bench permanently. But if you didn't see the video I posted yesterday, there's a quick look at the 97 Kenny Lofton stats because, yeah, that was the video I made uh, yesterday just showing all the new diamonds I was able to get. I was hoping I could face a righty in the debut game for a bunch of these guys because, yeah, Kenny Lofton, Brantley, and I did have a good mix because I think I had four righties in and then Lindor is a switch hitter and then three righties. So it was a good mix in this lineup, but I was hoping I could face a righty because, yeah, I just wanted to get a good debut game with Kenny Lofton, Brantley. And I'm going to get the 95 Matt Holiday too. I'm going to try and do that uh, tonight sometime, hopefully, because, yeah, I did finish the Rockies collection. I'm going to try and play with that rookie Tulowitzki too because I heard that some people have been using him and he actually does all right for their squad. But, yeah, I've been using Barry Larkin a lot. I've been uh, enjoying using Barry Larkin like I was saying when I picked up Barry Larkin that was one of the cards I wanted to get the most because back when I was playing uh, MLB 16 I was doing very well with Barry Larkin so yeah it's going to be hard to get the rookie Tulowitzki in the lineup Doug Drabeck is on the mound in this game usually people have been doing pretty good against Drabeck when he has pitched but able to uh, get through the first inning fairly quickly so Kenny Lofton is in like I said I was facing a lefty in CC Sabathia, but it is all good because, yeah, those hitting stats versus lefties on this Lofton isn't even a problem. Has that amazing vision, too. So it's not like somebody uh, like the flashback Granderson with very, very good hitting stats versus righties, and then against lefties, he's pretty much suspect. Even though when I've been using Granderson against lefties, he's been going off. It's just that, you know, the stats are there for this Kenny Lofton, but I was able to fight a couple pitches off. This is when you know you got somebody who's never going to go down on strikes. Bad swings, late swings, you're barely even close to the damn ball when you're swinging, and you're fouling everything off, so Kenny Lofton is having a good at-bat. I mean, it's still 0-2. No balls in this count. Trying to put something in play, obviously, see if I can run that out, put something to the left side of the infield and try and run that out even though the animations are fixed. Last year you could just get these speed guys up to the up to the plate and then just poke something to the left side of the infield and you will, you know, 95% of the time run that shit out. But wasn't able to get a base hit with uh, Lofton to begin this game, but it's all right. It's going to come. I'm not expecting Lofton to just go uh, insane and just get a base hit every single time he steps to the plate, especially against lefties. And Brantley isn't able to... Uh, get a base hit following Lofton too. So this is our Renato stepping up to the plate. And if you've been watching the videos dating back to when I was playing MLB 16, there probably wasn't one diamond card in that whole game that I struggled with more than Nolan Arenado, man. It was so bad. I was batting below 200 with Arenado. I used him for a good amount of time. I couldn't get anything going with Arenado in 16. But they did change his uh, stance in this game too, so maybe that can maybe that can just make Arenado go off for the squad because I was very disappointed I wasn't able to do that much with Arenado in last year's game. Wasn't able to do that much with a lot of third basemen I used. Donaldson, Arenado, uh, I forget who else I used, but those were the two main third basemen I used for a good amount of time and I wasn't really able to do... And A-Rod, what am I even saying? Every single A-Rod card I used in 16 I couldn't do anything with it was just something about third baseman in that game that I really third base righties because when I used Eddie Matthews I did all right with him but Arenado, A-Rod and Donaldson I couldn't do anything with I'm not even sure why that was the case but I'm hoping that uh, Arenado can do very well this year because yeah it was a buzzkill big buzzkill that I wasn't able to do anything with Arenado in 16 but I went down quickly in the bottom half of the first inning. So this guy's able to take the walk to begin this inning. But I do get the K right there. He's taken off for second base in the process. So now there is two down. I mean, something in the dirt. Lou, he did get a piece of it. He did, he did get a piece of it. I mean, it would have been better if he just kept it directly in front of him. I haven't even seen Luke. I'm not even joking. I haven't seen Luke Croy yet, I don't think, block something where it's just stayed directly in front of his body. So he did get a piece of it right there. I mean, I, I don't know. There was two strike counts in 
uh, this game where I tried to throw some curveballs in the dirt to see if it could, uh, if it actually worked. But I didn't want to, you know, do that, and then this guy ended up getting on base. So I may just play one game, or I'm just, I just may play one game against the computer or something, and, and then just throw curveballs in the dirt. Oh, I'm surprised I haven't even done that yet. I'm pro I probably am going to do that tonight or something. Just play a game against the computer and throw curveballs, change-ups in the dirt over and over again, and see how many get by Luke Roy. Because, yeah, I don't want somebody who's just going to be a pylon behind the plate. And I'm going to try and do the Yankees collection, too, because once I get Jorge Posada on the squad, this squad is going to be nasty, man. It already is fairly nasty up until this point, but once I get Jorge Posada in, this will be even better, obviously. But Barry Larkin is able to get the triple there with one down, and this was kind of suspect. I mean, I did have the seven and eight hitters coming up next. Lindor, he intentionally walks, and then Luke Roy is up next. So I was saying... There's no chance he's going to intentionally walk Luke Roy, right? Walk the bases loaded. So I was, I was saying, I'm going to make this guy regret that decision. I'm going to the bench. McCutcheon is in off the bench, getting the base hit right there, cashing in two runs. I'm not letting anybody walk the bases juiced and then not letting this guy pay for that. So yeah, that, that guy definitely regretted that decision right there. McCutcheon gets the two RBIs in the process and then lofted, baby! Steps up to the dish and finds the outfield grass. That is cashing someone in two. So Lofton is getting on the board in the debut game. So now Brantley is stepping up next. You know that this one-two punch is going to be deadly in this game. Brantley is first pitch swinging, and he is finding the outfield grass too. So that is also cashing in a run. Lofton advances to third base, and Brantley gets the double. So this is the two... Cleveland Indians at the top of the lineup. These guys are going to be deadly in the lineup. I am just hoping that's the case. When I was using this Brantley in 16, he was going off. So hopefully he can continue that. But Arenado is back up and able to get another run on the pass ball right there. Or it wasn't a wild pitch. Either way, his catcher didn't really block that either. So this is still kind of sketchy from what I'm seeing. So Arenado is back up and wasn't able to get a base hit in his first at-bat, but Arenado may have that quirk when he has uh, the PCI gets bigger with two strikes, because right there it seemed like it got double the size. I'm able to squeak one by the third baseman that goes down as an RBI single, so Arenado is getting on the board in his debut game too. Need to get Arenado going, because, yeah, I don't want to struggle with him again, so I need to get him go get the bat going with Arenado quick. Uh, in these first couple of games. Somehow he makes that grab on that Luis Gonzalez weak fly ball right to the catcher. So I was able to score a good amount of runs in that inning. Six in total. So now Carter Caps is in. Like I said, I did go to the bench because there's no chance. Yeah, man. Like there's no I don't even care what inning it was. You decide to walk the bases loaded to get to the pitcher. No chance. I was putting somebody in 100%. Good thing I did cash in those runs because that would have that 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 stank up the joint. If I didn't get a base hit right there, wasn't able to cash in any runs. So this guy leaves CC Sabathia in this game. I'm not really sure if I would have done that. Some people have been asking me why I've been going to the bullpen so quickly. is because, I don't know, I haven't really been doing that well with my starters. I've been doing a lot better with my relievers. And, yeah, I just that's just the case. I haven't really been doing that well with my starters. If it was Kluber or something, it was just the fact that it was Doug Drabeck. And he's not, you know, a flamethrower or anything. It seems like whenever people start to get the bats going against Dre Beck, they can't be stopped. And, yeah, since he did decide to walk the bases loaded, that was just, you know, that needed to be done. So, two down now in this inning. This guy also, or he did have Curtis Granderson in his lineup, which usually a lot of people do these days. So, Carter Caps, I think he ran out of juice in this at-bat, but I just wanted to see if I could get, uh, if I could get Granderson for the final out because I'm pretty sure that, uh, uh, was, was, I think the pitcher was coming up to the plate, or no, no he wasn't. I don't even know why I left Carter Caps in, to be honest then, because yeah, he did run out of juice and that at bat, so that could have been deadly, although I did have a 6 nothing lead, so it wasn't, it would have been, it wouldn't have been too bad if this guy was able to hit a home run or something, so that's kind of why I did that, just to, uh, I just, I kind of just wanted to start the inning out fresh, I'm pretty sure, just to try and see if I can get that final out, and the next inning rolls around, I just put somebody in, uh, that's, that's right, R fresh right out of the bullpen pretty much but wasn't able to get uh, the first two guys on in this inning Votto went down swinging Barry Larkin flies out to right field and then Lindor is up next and yeah I, I was saying I've been using or I'm going to use Lindor at second base for a good amount of time because yeah I just want to use someone else other than Kipnis but yeah he's probably going to play second base mostly uh, up until I get another second baseman or something then I may move him to uh, shortstop 
obviously. And then maybe even some third base because secondary his secondary positions are third base and second base. So I mean it's not not too much of an issue with uh, Lindor playing second base, especially when he got a switch hitter in the lineup. He's got that 90 fielding too, so that's always good for any infielder, really. really. So yeah, Lindor is going to be playing second base for a good amount of time. And this is what I was saying. Wanted to put somebody fresh out of the bullpen. Kelvin Herrera is in. Was able to get the first out of this inning fairly quickly. So now full count. He's going down looking on the outside fastball right there. So now this is Matt Holliday stepping up to the plate. Hopefully I can get this 95 Matt Holliday tonight like I was saying. So this guy is still looking at a donut on the board right now. So you know he is looking for his first base hit. Who is it going to be? Somebody's going to have to break through and get his squad going because, yeah, it is the fourth inning, so we're already in the middle innings. This guy still doesn't have a base hit. Right there, trying to go to the outside fastball again. Don't get the call, but next pitch, throwing something up and in. He is able to send one to right field. For some reason, he didn't take off for first base. I've been noticing that's kind of the new glitch in this game. But besides that, this guy decided to leave. I mean, I don't know. I'm not really sure why, but there is going to be another video posted after this one, so be on the lookout for that. If you guys enjoyed, leave a thumbs up.